market size and the need and what's out there. Um, I saw your pitch too, so yeah. Um, it was very well stated. Uh, I think, was there not all that much on the financial side that you went through? Didn't give a whole lot <coughs> on how it works with investors and stuff like that. So that, considering yours is pretty much a pure investment play, yeah. I would spend more time on the financials. Um, yeah, because the other, the, the problem is pretty easy to define and understand. And then competition. Obviously, people are going to see that and they're going to be like, oh, hey, me too, I can do it too. Yeah. It's a pretty easy thing to rip off. Mm -hmm. So address any differentiators and how you deal with competitive risks. Yeah, I thought that your opening was great. Got me interested, not only am I interested in the business model, um, but also sounds like uh, a helpful and useful thing to do as part of human society kind of thing. Uh, and I thought also, I think you needed a punch that it was really, this is a really low risk investment as opposed to some of these others which would be a lot higher risk, right? Maybe, maybe the Scouts one takes off and ends up being huge, but maybe it doesn't take off at all. I think yours is really, you can get the investors or student loans, you know what the payback rates are, you know what the um, the dollars are, you know how that works. I was a little in the dark with so existing loans that are in India and i got to somehow transfer that to the U.S. Is that just a market mechanism that's already in place or is that a fairly complex process that you're going to have to figure out how to do? So talk about how complex it is for the student that's borrowed the money at this high rate and right. non-U.S. -doll dollars, etc. But how so how, are, how is that not a pro the same problem for us? Okay. Um, I agree with Gabriella in the sense that uh, I mean, understand a little bit more in terms of how you would invest. I thought you stated well, though, the potential return uh, that uh, people might get, but not necessarily put as the model on how you invest. But overall, um, you know, just summary was real good, uh, market analysis, size, what you're offering to them, I thought was the clear, clear stated. So I'm not sure that an elevator pitch is the place that you tell me what your fees are going to be. You need to tell me that this is profitable and would be worth investing in. The rest of that's going to be negotiated anyway, right? That's that's the last meeting, not the first meeting. I need to know that you've got something that will sell, something that will make money, and we'll figure out how to divide the pie later. So, and I don't I don't know enough about it personally in my business, but so I don't know if those fees are normal or if that's off-putting, but I don't think you want to lose somebody because it sounds like you front end for your management fee or that you've so underbid it that 